Hey everyone, it's Ron Milligan with Remax Select here. And as usual, I've got the weekly market statistics for you for the Portland metro area. This is for our sampling of properties uh, in both Southwest Washington and um, the Portland metro area. Uh, and we're looking at the week of December 6th through December 12th. The number of homes sold uh, was 656, which was less than we saw the week before, 821 that week. Uh, but that was also a bounce back from the previous week, Thanksgiving week, when we only saw uh, 503 homes sale, uh, sold. Um, of course, we have that holiday there, um, and Friday kind of is an unofficial holiday, uh, and folks uh, steering closings away from that week, just knowing that a lot of people in the county and uh, people at the escrow companies are going to be on vacation, so not a lot of closings there. So that five or 656, not too bad of a number. Um, number of active listings was down about 6% from the previous week, and that's kind of a number that we've been seeing again and again and again. Um, not that exact number, but it's been a, a pretty consistent uh, reduction in uh, the number of active listings, so our supply side of the supply and demand co equation uh, continues to fall. Uh, the total number of pending deals, um, sort of our uh, measure of the demand side, what buyers are up to, what the buyer demand is like, that was down 3.3% from the previous week. Um, that is just, you know, it's not keeping pace with the number of active listings. Uh, it still feels like there are more buyers out there than there are listings to purchase, but the numbers right now, based on what we've been seeing over the last few weeks, suggest that this is a little more similar to a normal um, off-season, uh, early winter market in the Portland metro area. Not what we experienced last year where we had high demand and low supply leading into that crazy frenzy. I'm still of the opinion that we're going to hit this next early, uh, late winter, early spring. We're going to have a lighter version of what we experienced last year or this year in the spring, uh, but it's going to fizzle out a lot faster. Um, I've been advising my seller clients, you know, for the seller advantage, get your property on the market sooner rather than later, you know, end of January, beginning of February, because I do feel like those sellers who put their homes on the market uh, in April and May, which are traditionally strong selling months for our, our market, I feel like they, they might be missing the market and when they list their homes, they might be wondering where the, the, the buyers are. You know, they're expecting that stampede of buyers to come through their house and they may not see them. Um, just my opinion, this is what I'm feeling, this is what the numbers seem to be suggesting to me right now. We'll see when, as the time gets there. Um, and that's not to say that we're moving into a buyer's advantage at that point. We're just moving out of such a crazy, deep seller's advantage market, um, the one that we experienced this last year. Um, the number of new active listings was considerably less than the number of new pending deals, and I've been seeing that in the areas that I'm watching. I've seen lots of pending uh, homes that going on, on under contract, um, and not a lot of new listings popping up in those areas that I'm monitoring. Um, so that supports what I've been feeling there too. A uh, number of days on market went up uh, from like 23 to 26 from week to week. Uh, and the median days on market went up from nine to 10. Suggests that things are just taking, market's slowing down a little bit. Things are taking a little longer to sell. Um, same thing with the average sale price versus the uh, list price and the original list price. That's around about 100.5%. Um, median is at 101.2. Uh, the one notable thing is last week we saw a really big uh, difference between um, the last week and the week before when we're talking about the original sale price versus what the property eventually sold for. So these are homes that were listed a certain price, they did maybe one or two price reductions, and then they got an offer. Where did What percentage of that original list price did they sell at? Two weeks ago, that was around 95%. That went back up to 100%, 100.29%. Um, um, uh, last week, so that we gained a little uh, traction there. But those numbers have been trending down, which along with our, our average and median days on market suggests that our market is slowing down um, and moving maybe back towards a balanced market, not so deep in seller's advantage territory. All right, that's what I've got for you this week, and I'll see you next week. And of course, all real estate is local, so if you have um, questions about what's going on in your uh, neighborhood, your neck of the woods, uh, your segment of the market, always feel free to reach out to me, and we'll see you next week.